Pintz from the stretch, the 3-2. Into the air, into right field. DiColati's running back. He's at the wall. He turns up. This ball is gone. Trevor Schwecki, a three-run homer. New Hampshire's right back in this thing. Nine to five the score. First pitch into left center field. Charging in is Peters. He dives, can't make the catch. Eden trots home. Espino to second. He'll stop there. Fisher Cats take the lead. Two to one. Goes up against Riley Pint now. Fastball taken the other way. High and deep to right field. Off of the wall. Dicolati falls at the track. And Schneider stops at third. A long double off of the wall from Arelvis Martinez. And the fans are loving it. Two runners in scoring position for the Cats. Top of the order is coming up. Tanner Morris is on deck if Aiello can get it there. There's two outs here with a 1-1 count. High drive into right field, running, Whitaker, it's off the wall. This should score two. Coming home, Robertson taps home plate. The throw home is high. The Fisher Cats take the lead. Spencer Horwitz scores from first, and it's five to four, New Hampshire. Crowd coming alive here, 2-2. Two -two. Nobody out, bases loaded. Fisher Cats are up three. Campos comes home. Line drive into right field. This will score one as Chris Schaefer puts the brakes on Chris Beck at third. An RBI single for LJ Talley makes it 6-2 New Hampshire. David Korzanowski here with Steve Goldberg as Ricky Tiedemann takes to the mound for inning number three. He's faced two over the minimum. Struck out four already, three looking, one swinging. He's given up one hit. It was a double from Ricardo Henovez. Put runners on second and third, but Tiedemann able to strike out Carter Aldretti to end the top of the second. It's 1 0 New Hampshire. Tiedemann fires with a first pitch changeup that misses outside. Franklin Labore starting things off for Richmond here in the top of the third. Labore, the nine hitter, he'll be followed up by Mike Gigliotti and then Armani Smith. The 1-0, swung through. It's like the changeup again, 1-1. One one. Ricky Tiedemann pitched in the fifth inning in the AL's win in the Sirius XM All-Star Futures game. AL won 6-4 over the NL. Swinging a foul ball back into the backstop. It's 1-2. First batter that Tiedemann faced was the number one prospect in the Milwaukee Brewers system, Jackson Churio. He grounded out. Then Ellie De La Cruz, the number two prospect in the red system, flew out. And Darren Baker, son of Dusty Baker, also with a line out into center. So a 1-2-3 inning in the Futures game for Ricky Tiedemann as the ball misses outside. It's 2-2 two and two for Labore. The 2-2. Two -two. Outside, three balls, two strikes. Righty warming in the pen for New Hampshire. Looks like Gabriel Ponce. As the three two is swung through, strike three. Fifth strikeout for Ricky Tiedemann and his first time through the order he retires seven of nine batters, strikes out five. Now he's back to Mike Gigliotti with one out here in the top of the third. I know tonight Tiedemann is expected to uh, go just about three innings, so we'll see if he gets three full. But he certainly have st has starter quality stuff. First pitch to Gigliotti, fastball. High and in, ball one. Gold with an extra pause on the frame there. Gigliotti struck out looking on three pitches. He was the first batter that Tiedemann faced at double A. Slider 
Low and outside. Two balls, no strikes. Ricky Tiedemann went undrafted in the five-round draft of 2020. Changed his commitment from San Diego State to Golden West Junior College as a foul ball makes it two and one. And already the Blue Jays are happy with Tiedemann's development. One of the big things this year that I've heard from people on the Fisher Cats coaching staff and in the Blue Jays system is he's put on a lot of muscle and gotten that fastball up. Goes right to the fastball, and it's 96, makes it 2-2. Two and two. Hadn't really lifted a ton. Remember, he's only 19 years old. Now he's 6'4", 220. The 2-2. Two -two. Foul ball goes back our way. Up over the press box window, and it's still 2-2. Two and two. Uh, the time at the complex last year after he was drafted was probably beneficial for a guy coming out of a junior college, but he only spent a year there. He was drafted so young. Rather than sending him out to an affiliate, take some time at the complex, develop that slider, put on some muscle. 2-2. Two -two. Downstairs, Gold looking for an appeal down to third base. Velez doesn't even go to Sean Cassidy. So three balls, two strikes, second straight full count for Tiedemann here in the third. From the windup. Grease on the first sign and comes home. Check swing, and it's grounded back to Tiedemann. Out of his reach. De Los Santos, quick throw. Got him in time. What a play by Luis De Los Santos. Barehanding the slow roller. Accurate throw makes out number two. Tiedemann made an effort to get to that ground ball, but... Didn't have a chance. De Los Santos, the only player in the infield who could have made that play on the check swing ground ball. Two up, two down here in the third. Now it's Armani Smith. He grounded out to shortstop his first time up. He swings and buckles down to one knee. Looking down at that right ankle after the follow through. 0-1. Oh Armani Smith, a 228 average this year. His OPS is just above 600. Change up is a strike, it's 0-2. We are seeing some lightning straight away over the Hilton Garden Inn. A couple clouds popping up here in Manchester. Otherwise, the radar looks solid, but might be heading our way. Keep you posted there. The 0-2 into right field. Running back is a Spino. He's at the track, and he makes the catch. Ricky Tiedemann goes three scoreless innings. Two of them, one, two, three innings. Not bad for a debut if that's all we see. Ricky Tiedemann's off the bump. Kyle Harrison comes back on. Fisher Cats have a one-nothing lead. De Los Santos will start things off when we come back on the Fisher Cats Baseball Network. <laughs> 